Hey guys and gals, Sweet Project Cars here, and I've got a real cool little hack, little deal that will save you a lot of frustration long term. I know that many of you uh, will crimp these terminals down and wonder if you got it well enough. And when you have situations where you really need to make sure that it's crimped down well, just follow this technique right here. It works awesome. Julio, tell everybody where all the tools are located. Thank you, Julio, Cesar Chavez, Rodriguez, Jorge Johnson, Thompson. Now, I hope you all have a great, fantastic weekend. We've got a lot of great videos coming up. Wintertime's in route, so we're going to have some videos on that. But let's get at it. This little soldering machine right here is the bomb. We're not being paid to share it. I just love it. I think it's awesome. I put some su suction cups up underneath it here, and they work great. So here's what we're going to do. All you have to do is take your terminals, and as we always say, knowledge is power. Every little thing you can learn is good. I learned all this stuff from my dad, so make sure you're chitlins. Watch some of our videos, especially Mr. Know-It-All, and learn. Don't know, we have a motorhome channel as well, Sweet Motorhomes. Check it out. It's for RVs and motorhomes. And our Sweet Scoots channel for all our bikes, motorcycles, and all that happy stuff. So here's what you do. You take your crimpable terminals right here. You usually just have to push the metal part out with a screwdriver like this. And they'll come right out we're going to clamp that in the old jaws here these are the strippers that we use and you won't find those at any club and these are the crimpers that we use and they work great so we're going to go with the flat one for now the bullet type we'll do later And I like to set it at about 400 degrees on the digital readout on this thing. I got about 425. Now, if you use bare terminals without the plastic covering, you can do that as well. But then you have to use shrink sleeve, and that's not as tough as the plastic covers that go over these. Now, one thing that you can do when your terminals are larger than your wire, that's another reason you would do this. If you only have the yellow and you do not have the red... Or the blue for 14 gauge wire or whatnot this is a great way to do this and you're guaranteed that you will uh, have a great connection so all I do is I put the wire in the terminal I'll cut it back a little bit further for the video so you can see it And hopefully you can see that I like to have the wire protruding out about a sixteenth of an inch or so from the collar and you warm it up a little bit That's basically all you got to do. All right. So now that terminal is on there. It's not coming off. But, again, you would have to use shrink sleeve over that. Not as strong as being able to do this right here. Take your original terminal cover that you had taken off. And you can pull it right down in there. It will not come out of there. I'm pulling pretty hard. Pressed it down. It's nice and flush. This part will go on here. And these terminals I'm using are really good quality and very, very affordable as well. 
and that'll go on like that. So now that we've done that, much cheaper to do this than using shrink sleeve on top of it. Plus it's much stronger, harder for it to wear through. That is as good as gold. Good as gold, baby. And I thank you guys for all subscribing and being part of the channel. Let's put the other camera on. We'll get some close-ups here if we do the other end. All right, so we got that one done. It looks pretty darn good. We'll do this end with our flat. warm it up a little bit this time around it does have a wire brush area right here where I can clean that tip up really well and you can also do the wire I used to really dislike soldering until I got this kit. This is an awesome kit for Christmas for anybody you know that uh, likes to DIY everything. That would be me. Okay. Wire going in. Put that back in the holder. I haven't been burnt by this system yet. Kidoki. Alligator clips out of the bomb. Here we go. And it's always tougher with a camera on your way, but we can make way of it. And that be that. No Mox Nixon here. So this is two wires, of course. Not bag. And it's still warm. Nice thing about the uh, covers, kind of like a shrink sleeve. You just press it down on there. Like that, Jack. And then we do this number. Bada bing, bada boom. That would go on there, but I put the wrong end on it. Let's take it off and do it right. All right, we put the I put the wrong end on that like a big fat buffoon. So this goes on here. Sorry about that, folks. Like that you take this and you do this with it and she's not going anywhere so another tip just so you know if you have to do it if your terminal doesn't go in there very tight all you got to do is crimp these down here a little bit see that You can use pliers, I just use the cutters. And then it goes in there nice and tight. There you go. Now you can put a big piece of shrink sleeve over it if you want. This is probably the most secure wire connection you'll ever have, right there. You can use liquid black tape on this if you want, which we've done videos on that, or you can use the good old black tape. The idea is not to touch this if you can ha have that happen. That'd be it right there. Liquid black tape would be uh, a lot faster, of course. And if you want it watertight, all you gotta do is put some liquid black tape in here 
and some liquid black tape in there and just let it run into it. It'll seal it right up. Or you can use black Permatex. Pack it full. And you can do what we've done in the past. Fill your syringe up with silicone glue and inject it in there. Water tight. Water tighter. So that's all we've got. Hopefully these little tips and tricks have helped you. And as we always say, don't be a schmuckle. And sweet project cars, out!